Hey Kryptonians, this is Don, Don Kryptonium. Today another video, but a little bit different, okay? Because today, as quite often lately, I would say, we are going to explore different ecosystem. We are going to go in the Arbitrum, you know? We are going to go into high-yield DeFi on stable coins. Yes, on stable coins. So make sure you like this video. And let me know what you think about this type of the content. And there is the reason why I'm doing this, right? Because uh, let's not pretend that the cosmos is struggling. It is not struggling with anything beyond the fact that there is not many things to do for the users, for, for degens. It is not driven by, by this behavior. So... Um, it's natural that the users like Don Don Kryptonium will go to other ecosystems to seek adrenaline, to seek the adventure, to seek the fun. So at the end of this video, I will. I also want to talk a little bit about Stargaze. You know, so it's loose video um, with no editing, just me chatting to the to the camera and exploring this hyper liquid you know and you know I i'm doing this because i'm user and this channel always meant to be about not being the promoter because you know i've i'm looking at the co in the cosmos influencers and you know right away these guys they they don't fucking use crypto <laughs> like they just fucking don't because they talk nonsense okay uh, no offense to anyone, but I know who use and I know who doesn't, you know, because staking the atom is not fucking using the crypto, okay? But anyway, Hyperliquid. So Hyperliquid is the application on Arbitrum, uh, layer two solution, right? Layer two is a scaling solution to Ethereum. So it uses Ethereum as the security and you get fast and cheaper transaction because it batches everything, right? It, it rolls it. So let's launch. Hyperliquid is perpetual trading from, from what I understand, right? So things of perpetual trading, the centralized platform, that would be DYDX. DYDX itself was a layer two, as I believe, right? But I'm looking into Hyperliquid. It reminds me a little bit of Levana in Cosmos. So uh, shout out to Levana because Levana is probably like the one thing that made Cosmos fun recently because people love trading, people love DGEN things, and Levana find the solution how people can submit the funding to those trading activities and also yield a lot, right? And this is similar, but like for me, I, I like shorting on Levana. I don't have many Osmo tokens and Atom, you know, I sold because I don't really like to be a sucker nor swallower or exit liquidity or anything like this. And I'm trying to stay safe more in the in the stable coins range. So there is few things that Hyperliquid offers. It offers you trading, and from what I saw, to some of the tokens up to 50x. So you you get the degenerate behavior, right? And it's easy. You use the native USDC on Arbitrum, but I especially likes the Valuts over over here, right? So let's open Valut. Um, and let, let's just, like no need to establish um, connection um, because because there is there is no need to it. But essentially, you know, connect the wallet. Okay, so I had to do the short uh, short cut, you know, and essentially you deposit the USDC, the native Arbitrum USDC, into the into the protocol. So then you can trade it, you can leverage yourself up to the teeth, or you can actually yield because when you're confused, like what to do in crypto, you know, I want to sit on the stables, but I don't want to miss on the sweet, sweet yields. But you need to know interacting with any application, it's always high risk, especially when you see this high APR. And I'm going to explain why the APR in this protocol valued is close to 200%, you know, because it seems crazy, but you need to know when it comes to perpetual trading, it generates tons of the fees. And I'm giving you example of uh, GMX, was it GMX um, on Arbitrum? This DEX that was generating half million dollars every single day from trading. So it was generating like close to $200 million 
on on average, you know, just from the fees. So hyperliquid, let's say, is the solution, but the fees are spread among people, including users, right? So uh, this is this uh, protocol valued hyper liquidity provider. So you provide that liquidity in form of the native USDC, and let's see what this value does. This community-owned value provides liquidity to hyperliquid to our platform through multiple market making strategies. So um, similar as in Levana, right? Because I'm speaking mainly to Cosmos people, I, I guess you provide the liquidity. So that's the same theory here uh, through multiple market strategies, you know, to different, to different pairs. You provide it and they do market making to different pairs. Um, and as the liquidations happens because most of the people are bad traders, you win, right? That's how it works. And also it occurs platform fees. So part of the platform fees also go to this. So I feel that the next meta of DeFi might be around perpetuals. When we when we speak about the first um, DeFi summers, it happened 2019, then we had 2020. Right, there, there was uh, there was this DeFi summers. This was a time when a lot of people made money, and don't get me wrong, this is the dark time. But for willing degens, there is always something happening on the market, and and it got my interest, and I started using this value because this APR uh, is it APR or APY. I think is the is the APR. It's really difficult to beat, and it's on the stablecoin. So I was exploring this. And I don't think you should close yourself to the certain market because uh, there is a lot of fun. Arbitrum, there is a lot of fun. On Ethereum, there is quite a lot of fun when it comes to AMM markets for, for NFTs. Um, of the fractionalized NFTs that essentially works now as the meme coins, right? Because you finally have that liquidity solution. So this is what I wanted to say. I wanted to mention this hyper liquidity provider and speak to you that it might be the ne next meta. Um, because even if all the coins go to zero, people will be trading on Bitcoin and Ethereum. They will be speculating on that value. They will be speculating on the value of Ethereum. So the utility of perps trading is always there, right? Um, I, I think that's it, what I wanted to, to say about uh, hyper, hyper, look, they have referrals too. I never, uh, I never share that. I, I should get my referral link on the, on the other address. What are the stats, I wonder? Oh, we can see the stats for the for the breaking month. Um, these stats might be not accurate because I think they they actually changed the changed the value. They had two separate values, and they merged it. Yeah, like it's nice breakdown of all the volume and all the fees that happen. Anyway, at the end, I wanted to speak about about Stargaze because. Um, my Cosmos content is sponsored by the Stargaze, right? It's it's quite obvious by by this, um, I guess. But I have some concerns. So by the way, this this Riddler, I was buying it. I I just speculating on some NFTs. You know, some NFTs I'm burning because some of them ragged. Um, I love Stargaze, but I feel the time of execution should be faster, right? I'm awaiting for AMM pools for the infinity swap. And we all been awaiting. And I would like to explain why it's quite difficult to sustain for the floor price of the certain NFTs if you don't have AMMs. You know, you rely on single point of marketplace. If 100 NFTs out of 10,000 is going to get listed, it's very difficult to, to rely on, on just on the market price, right? So I'm looking forward to Stargaze to finally deploy Infinity Swap uh, to bring some of that volume. But I think the financializing the NFTs is, is another meta. And it's very important that Stargaze, beyond anything else, will focus on this consumer degen behaviors. Because this is more important than anything else. There is a lot of people working on other stuff that, you know, that are 
improving the platform, but that the DJs don't necessarily notice. You know, the, the platform is extremely smooth. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's perfect. But uh, we, we are lagging behind. We are lagging behind Ethereum, you know, financializing what I would like to see. AMMs. What I would like to see on Ethereum now starting to be uh, to be built call options for NFTs. So let's say you want to speculate on the value of the bad kids, which could be the problem because it's easy to manipulate the, the value of the bad kids. But fractionalizing this, you know, um, it's quite spread. But imagine you have, I don't think the infinity swap will have it right away. But if you have shared pools, right, because the bad kids, they don't have like one extremely large holders. But when you have large pool where you can deposit bad kit an equal amount of stars, let's say the pool grows to 500 bad kits, an equal amount of stars. And it starts behaving like, um, you know, like like the regular token, then you can actually establish fractionalizing pools. So people can actually buy the shares of 0.1 of bad kit if they want to be ex- exposed to the speculative nature of that NFT. So I'm looking forward to that. But seriously, I think the you know, beyond the NFTs right now, beyond the Levana, um, beyond the Kujira, everyone got hooked up on on some other on other stuff and i hate to say it you know but i was i was just uh fucking right i when i call someone a pussy you know it's usually i get the bad feedback i get like this dude he cannot call a pussy a real builder then three months later this real builder is like yeah, he's kind of pussified, right? And and when the next three months pass, it's like, yeah, he was a pussy, you know? Uh, and you saw this behavior with all those organizations, with the Atom 2.0, people getting upset that their proposal didn't pass, asking for millions of dollars. That's not a building. That's not, that's not. Building is a hacker house and people... No, sorry, that's overstretched, Okay. But that's not building. The the this many of those people don't understand the Degen behaviors, and you know a lot of these interesting DeFi applications on Ethereum got born from like few people has like, hey, I have this idea, and then you get this you know lending borrowing protocols on Ethereum, and then you get the leverage trading on Ethereum. Like people get this, hey, I, I think it could work, and in Cosmos was like. Yeah, I um uh, I have this um infrastructure provider uh scalability um valued solution sequencer um and you know it requires five million dollars. It's user will never fucking see that. I I don't know even I, what I was talking about. Like I don't understand half of the stuff they talk about this sequencers. Like, uh, it's like uh, talking about chemistry to people. Just build the fucking application. Just just fucking build the application that, that people use, you know? And so more more content surely will be coming about Layer 2s, um, about Bitcoin itself. Because how long you can shit on Cosmos, right? And uh, yeah, that's it. Don't Kryptonium's out. Till the next time.